Hello there ladies and gentlemen, thrill seeks of all ages, my name is Coaster Chal and welcome to Coaster Chal YouTube channel. <laughs> Hello there ladies and gentlemen, thrill seeks of all ages, Coaster Chal here, Don Gasterborn, but built for theme parks and welcome to another theme park newsroom update. This news has been breaking over the last 24 to 48 hours as of recording this Cadbury World will now be operated by Merlin Entertainment. We're going to go through all the information in this video and share my first initial reactions. So before we get started guys, make sure you do like the video if you've loved it, comment down below your thoughts and opinions, subscribe if you're new around here, click the notification bell so you know this YouTube video. Also guys, check the description down below for social media links and the Google Forms link where you behind the camera can submit your own video ideas. And for now guys, let's have a look at the latest on Cadbury World taken over by Merlin Entertainment operation wise in the near future. So Merlin Entertainment and Mondelez International, the current operators, have today announced an exclusive new partnership that will see Merlin acquire the operations and brand license for Cadbury World in the UK. Opened in 1990, Cadbury World is one of the West Midlands most popular attractions with 600,000 people visiting every year to learn about the nation's favourite chocolate and heritage of the Cadbury brand. As part of the agreement, Merlin Entertainment will be responsible for the day-to-day -day running of the Cadbury World site its employees and all operational decisions as well as holding brand usage rights for Cadbury World in the UK. The partnership forms part of Merlin's broader strategy to engage in intellectual property partnerships with some of the world's most popular brands across its global estate with existing successful partnerships including Lego, Bear Grylls, Marvel and the BBC. The UK MD at Mondelez International, Lewis Steigant, said Cadbury World is a truly unique experience since it first opened its doors in 1990 has been enjoyed by millions of families from across the UK and overseas. We want to build on the strong foundation we've laid so that people can continue to enjoy Cadbury World for generations to come. As we approach Cadbury's 200th anniversary, I'm really excited by this partnership and by working with Melon Entertainment, we'll be able to bring the hit history and heritage of the Cadbury brand and the joy of chocolate to more and more people. The Chief Development Officer at Merlin Entertainment, Mark Fisher, said as one of the world's leaders in location-based entertainment, we are delighted that Cadbury World has joined the already strong global network of Merlin attractions. We have long admired Cadbury as a nation's favourite chocolate brand. We already have successfully worked together across a range of experimental activities and retail spaces in our UK theme parks. We are now excited to continue the relationship and bring to life the sights, smells and fun experiences that chocolate lovers will have come to know and love, but just with some of the additional helping of some Merlin magic. The par partnership is subject to CMA confirming they have no objections and subject to a successful completion, the new partnership will take effect from summer this year. Now let's share my thoughts on Cadbury's new operator, Merlin Entertainments themselves. There we are ladies and gentlemen, thrill six of all ages, that is the new operator, Merlin Entertainment, speaking with the current operator, Mondelez International, with Cadbury World. Now, new operator means some changes along its time as owner. Now, for me, I think this could be operationally a decent change. I think, I, I've heard reports that Mondelez and the current operators have been struggling a bit, obviously with pandemic and things like that. Um, so I think this could be a, 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 you know, those are just reports, but I think this could be a welcome change anyway. Um, in terms of what this does for the Cadbury brand across Merlin Entertainment, maybe they could be more than just Cadbury Worlds. I mean, I'm not ruling out anything else here, but, um, you know, we used to have the old Cadbury's Chocolate House at Alton Towers Resort. Could that make a return at some point um, in the UK theme parks? Could that be part of um, the the introduction of the Cadbury brand to, you know, the Merlin Entertainment's parks? You know, I'm not ruling anything out at this stage beyond Capri World, but um, I think it should be a very interesting proposition. I think that Merlin could bring some very interesting dynamics to Capri World in terms of the day-to-day -day operations of the attraction. Um, and like I said, I think this could be a welcome change for Capri World. I think it could bring a lot more visitors, and I think Merlin could look to invest in more and more new things for Capri World to expand the the history and the heritage of Cadbury, but also to expand the activities and experiences within the attraction. Um, as long, you know, I think with, the, you know, this very enclosed site, so I think you've got a lot of houses around the site, so planning permission for new rides and experiences, etc., is gonna be proved to be very difficult, but 
with Melon Entertainment, I've always said nothing's impossible. Um, because, you know, look at Alton Towers. They're in a conservation area. They treat that with respect. They can't build above the tree height with new attractions and coasters. Um, so they dig down. And that's how they're allowed to get some of the taller attractions. I'm not saying Cadbury are going to build tall attractions, but what I'm, what I'm going to say is that Merlin, and, you know, and looking at Alton Towers as an example, they don't have a pro. They, they, they work around the problems of planning applications. So I think if Cadbury can build attractions and build experiences that fall within the planning rights, I see no problem with them adding brand new attractions, brand new experiences to expand. Um, the knowledge of Cadbury in different ways and experience the, the, the history of Cadbury in different ways in different experiences so I think there's untapped potential if they fall into the planning application rights um, but there we are guys thank you very very much for watching this video make sure you do like comment subscribe and for now I'm Coast Chal keep living the coast life and I'll see you guys in the next video very very soon take care guys have a Cadbury tastic day big fan of Cadbury big fan of Merlin You'll love to see it. Keep your head back. Hold on tight. You must escape.